Hello, this is Craig. I figured I'd start sharing early, although I haven't gotten very much of this game done yet. So this is a tactical RPG that I'm building. Um, it would be vaguely similar to something like Final Fantasy Tactics if it weren't so different. So the biggest difference uh, that you'll notice right off the bat is that the game actually operates on three rails rather than on an open 3D grid. Um, this is for a couple of reasons. One is that it gives the game very much a forward pacing. So as you progress forward, you'll see that there is only one direction to go, um, and each quest will be oriented around the idea of you moving towards that objective rather than you cleaning up enemies. Another reason for it is because it actually offers um, a much tighter set of terrain challenges, set of topological challenges, than you can get out of a... Um, out of an open 3D grid. An open 3D grid gives you too much waffle space and too much complexity. This gives you a very stark set of situations, you know. Uh, who is free to move and who isn't? Uh, where are the enemies? What rails are blocked off? Um, all of that stuff allows you to build very, very sharp topological challenges, and I like that idea a lot. Now, tactically, this game is a little bit unusual because the characters uh, normally wouldn't be attacking on their turn. Instead, uh, the characters like to act when it's not their turn. So each character has a primary and se or a first and second uh, passive action they can take. And each class has different passive actions, but if this guy's a warrior, he might have the passive action of defend as his first one, and then jump back as a second one. So if he was attacked, he would block at a high defense level, and then he'd jump back. Not only would this help him to avoid getting hurt, it would also allow another character, like say this one, let's say he's an archer, if he had the if he had the uh, first thing of attack whoever attacks my allies, then when this guy gets attacked, the archer will fire at the monster. And if there are a whole bunch of monsters, or if the monster has several turns in a row, then the archer will just sit there and fire off a shot every single time he attacks. So uh, uh, you can build these engines out of your party members where you're tr striving to make their off-turn actions combine into this uh, uh, you know, wheel of destruction in your favor. So those are the basics, and I haven't gotten very far yet, just, uh, just far enough that the topology is starting to work. I'm going to think about adding enemies next and turn order and such.